to the third half out of this card. Here we go. Three, Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with our action today with the next bout scheduled for six rounds or less in the men's super featherweight division. And the referee in charge of this action, all the way from Pyeongtaek, South Korea, Charlie Choi. Introducing first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he comes into the ring sporting the national colors of Papua New Guinea black trunks with red trim. Officially weighing in at 126, one half pounds from Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea with a record of two and two with two knockouts known as the Prodigy. Introducing Kauko Raka Jr. And his opponent in the opposite corner of the ring, fighting out of the red corner, coming into the ring, wearing white trunks with green and red trim. Officially weighing in at 127 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current WBO Oriental Super Featherweight Champion from Kunming, China. Introducing Shu Xiao Ta 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 Ta! And now once again for the instructions, referee Charlie Choi. This is the battle between China and Papua New Guinea, partner. Nobody. There you have it, Junior Rocka, one of the most charismatic boxers uh, that we have uh, welcomed here in the Philippines is fighting now in Vietnam against uh, Korea, South Korea. No, I think uh, Xiao Tao Lu is uh, from China. Yeah, China. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Correction. A, a fun, yes. a, a fun-loving uh, um, fighter. Like, you, like what you said, Junior Raka, who is a 30 years old uh, fighter. He also gave a great uh, uh, fight uh, against uh, Martinia, partner, remember, in Manila. Certainly, that, that fight was really an eye-opener as we saw Junior Raka endure uh, Marchan Yap's uh, prowess. But ultimately, our countrymen won that fight. But Junior Rafa certainly won more fans here in the Philippines. Xiao Tao Su is, a, is the current uh, WBO Oriental Super Featherweight Champion partner. But the, but the, but the, the title is not on the line on, on this uh, fight. Here we go, first round. A minute has already in Sweden. Nice and head to body uh, combination by Junior Raka. Sue covering up pretty well. I, I think Sue is trying to to wait to counter against uh, against Raka. Try to make uh, Raka commit a mistake. You're right. That's a good observation. As we can see, he's still picking his thoughts, just trying to let Rafa engage so that he can find the perfect opportunity. And also, um, Sue, Sue is trying to test at the power of Raka if he could uh, take that punch. So he has that. Of, uh, no, what a nice left by Sue. There you have it. That, that countering. Uh, by Sue and the aggression by Junior Raka we see early on here in round one. Raka always ends his combination with that hook. Let's see if that hook can land cleanly on a shout out Sue. Sue targeting the body and the head. No mistake about Raka here, so so some power on his uh, hands but uh, if you if you try to to commit that mistake i you are also gonna pay a price uh against junior rata certainly and with that also comes his his grit you know we saw that in the mark john yeah, fight he did not give up he was punching up until the end i i and think right he now, also fought <laughs> 
I think Raka yes. also fought uh, another Filipino role, Dan Aldea, um, who is the current uh, uh, Philippine lightweight champion. He fought in uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, although it was a, a, a loss on Raka, I think he, he, sent, he, he has given some sort of respect uh, for, uh, the, for the boxing community, the way he fights. Certainly, what's the uh, more entertaining uh, boxers to watch as he certainly does not back away, he just engages, just keeps moving forward. And like I said, he is a fan-friendly uh, fighter because anybody wants to take photos, anybody wants to have a photograph with Junior Raka, he always um, have time for... Uh, even sometimes he's doing training, his fans are swimming around, and he also given them a chance to take a picture with him. Definitely. And right now, he is with the Papua New Guinea team in Indonesia, about to gain the admiration of uh, Vietnamese fans. And, and, and he is throwing a lot of combination uh, on that first round and also on all the start of round number two. Certainly, Raka starting, again, starting uh, as the aggressor here on this round. Tao Tao Su, uh, the counter puncher. Maybe Su is thinking one good counter punch could probably change the complexion of this fight. Here you have it, Raka is also able to, to, to counter in some moments right there because he's, he's having a hard time opening up uh, Shoutao suit. He's very well uh, protected with that high guard. The good thing that uh, Raka is doing, he is always comes, coming first on, 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 in terms of punching uh, on, on this fight. Certainly. And here we go, Raka targeting uh, the head and the body with that combination of his that hook, that left hook to the head. Again, shout out to with that high guard, very ready to counter with that jab. Maybe, maybe Sue throw a little bit less, but I think he throw a little bit more accuracy uh, on, on this fight. Absolutely right. You know, he's just waiting for the right time to let go of those, uh, or let go of his thoughts. Just right I think after the combination. I think, partner, um, in, in, a, in a, I see some of, of, of some familiar faces in the in the ring, I think um, the GAB chairman, uh, attorney Richard Clarin, and um, yes. um, uh, boxing division head uh, Jackie uh, Cacho Ornido is uh, supporting uh, this the event. Certainly, and, and also, also to, and also, and also, uh, uh, Miss Rika, I'm sorry to in, uh, interrupt you. The sure, head sure. of BSP, uh, the, the head of BSP, uh, Mr. Lim Song, it's also on the on the audience certainly i think the philippines and vietnam are doing something historical with this uh, this yeah. meet up uh, uh, between our officials hopefully a good I good think, uh, yes outcome comes from this i think i think miss Brica, i think if i'm not mistaken both of the country uh, I'm speaking about Vietnam and the Philippines um, did agree with, with certain um, uh, things that could help each other gaining success in boxing. Certainly, I mean, uh, it's good that we strengthen our ties with other Asian countries just to showcase and uh, showcase our boxers and just to bring good clean fights to, to Asian fans. I really, I really hope the more Asian um, Asian um, country um, get involved in boxing. I remember um, there was instances when Bacau was a bright light in boxing. I hope they could uh, come back 
they could come back and, and and sometimes in the near future hold a big event in Macau again. Certainly, or maybe Grand Ho Trump can take into that uh, or take that role also by becoming one of the boxing capitals of Asia. And we have yes, Manila as yes. well, of course, here in at the yeah. Grand Ballroom here in El Arte. Mm, of course, of course, of course. Our well, home. Number three, <laughs> our home, of course, El Arte TV. You're watching this coverage by El Arte TV. Please follow and like the page because we are going to bring you more boxing fights. This one you're witnessing is a boxing card in Vietnam, WBO Global Trade Route. Now, uh, Shan Tao Su is, I, I think, is accelerate, accelerating a little bit more uh, on this round. Try to have more punches thrown uh, on this round. Certainly, while Raka stays wow. intent on humbling the body of Shao uh, Tao Su. Nice combination by two. Here you have it, Raka counter into the body. There you have it, double body shots by Junior Raka. I'm gaining my senses that the corner of Sue did told him to, 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 to bang a little bit more on this round. For sure, because this is just a six round uh, bout and now we're halfway into the fight. So if you're going to step on the gas pedal, now is the time. And you could never know if Raka steal that first and second round. You never know because exactly. the, uh... you're right, partner. Raka has been aggressive with round one and round two, but right now, Shao Tao Su stepped on the gas pedal, just unleashing and, those combinations. And and, Ra and uh, this junior Raka is like a machine. He just throwing everything including the kitchen sanchez exactly and we've seen that time and time again junior rafa even when he's hurt he just doesn't stop punching i i think giving up is not uh, it's not it's not um in the terms of, of this junior raka he will continue to be in front of you trying to trade letters with you until the end Certainly, and now that boxing is gaining more popularity in Papua New Guinea, they have this boxing superstar from their country. So this is a huge moment for Junior Raka. Oh, nice left at the end of round number two for Sue. There you have it. A, a better round for Sue, uh, round number three. Engaging more, unleashing more punches here on round number three. This is all still gonna be a tight uh, a fight, you know. Like I said, the first and second round, uh, you could never know. The third round is still uh, very debatable who get that round. It's also because it still depends on how the judges see it. Some judges see it. The more accurate punches, some judges see the volume of punches. So it's the, the the fight, exactly. this fight is still up in the air. You're absolutely right, uh, partner. The first and second round, both boxers are still they haven't opened up. Uh, for example, it was hard for Rafa to open up a shout out to in the opening rounds, but we'll see here on round, round number four. Number four There you have it, Raka still targeting the body of uh, Shao Tao Su. You could hear the animated crowd on the background, partner, haven't you? Exactly. <laughs> there you have it, an exchange of shots to the head by both boxers. You know what, Shao Tao Su uh, certainly stepped on that gas pedal and it's like a switch because right now it's a different Shao Tao Su we see here <laughs> from the Shao Tao Su on the first round. 
that it, it started on round number three, and he is, he is trying exactly. to continue. He's trying to continue it in round number four. The same style of Raka, uh, just uh, throwing uh, some hard letter. Exactly. And Serifak, what the good thing about Raka is he sets everything up with a jab. You can see him just like creating that distance. I'll and what's good Raka. about uh, what's good about uh, mm -hmm. Raka is he is not a purely a head hunting uh, type of a fighter. He goes also to the body and and and, see, and uh, go that way. Exactly. There you have it. Body shot by Junior Raka. A hook to the head by Shao Tao Su. Now Shao Tao Su stays inside the pocket. He just does not let Raka get away. Just stays in front of Raka all uh, throughout the round. But but in my ob own observation, I think uh, on this round, I, I think um, Raka is feeling the power of uh, Chao Tao Su right now. Certainly. Perhaps it's the body shots. Perhaps it's it's his constant movement. Because I think it's, yeah. it, it's stamina mm -hmm. will be also a factor for Raka because he has thrown a lot of punches from round one until right now. Certainly, as we progress round number five and number six, we'll see who has uh, gas left in their tank. Nice one, combination, two, body shot. Yes, certainly. End of the round. Exciting rounds. I and wonder. There you have it. I wonder, Ms. Rika, how many nation is involved on this event? You could see some, um, I think, some European uh, people also watching and um, intensely on this uh, event. Exactly. So, like I said, what if uh, Grand Hotra becomes the next Macau in terms of being a, a boxing capital? Because right now we are seeing a diverse uh, audience. Like you said, like you mentioned, different nationalities are present here at the Grand Wotram. We will thank the Kaki Buffalo uh, promotion and as well as ESP promotion um, for bringing us a top caliber kind of event in Grand Ho Tram Strip in Vietnam. Exactly. And right now we are witnessing shout out Sue from China versus Junior Raha of Papua New Guinea round number five. No matter what happened on this fight, I think these two um, very skilled fighter is we're going to see more of these two fighters. Very entertaining and um, good in, in, in terms of boxing. Certainly. And, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, fighting international boxers or boxers uh, from different uh, countries is also a way to test your skills there you go a successful counter by by Shao Tao Su there that left hand oh nice left by nice left by Su, oh. Oh, wow. nice left by Su. did connect uh, uh, smack on the jaw of our uh, junior Raka that was a huge left hand but knowing junior Raka he will not be faced with that he uh, he comes back like like I told you uh Miss Rika the stamina and I think the power is 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 quite uh obvious on this round for sure uh Shao Tao Su uh heated up in round number three and right now just show Junior Raka his power with that devastating left to the jaw of Junior Raka another left another left by a suit 
I think Rock this is the first time. This yes. I, I think this is the first time that I see it. Raka is on the opposite. He was come forward all the time, but now he is backing off a little on this uh, instances. Certainly, oh, I think he really, yeah, that, that knockdown really hurt him, but, but kudos to him for, for standing up, standing back up. And right now he is still, oh, his back was turned right there, of course. Um, an accidental punch to the back of the head. But this great warrior, Junior Raka, a lesser of a boxer would probably not stand up. But uh, knowing Junior Raka, he is not a quick kind of a guy. Exactly. So we'll see. We'll see how Junior Raka recovers from this. If he recovers from this as we approach the end of round five. That's a big knockdown for uh, Xiao Tong Su. Um, with this uh, tight punches, I, I think Raka still has a chance of winning this fight. If he <laughs> did get, if he get a, a good round number six. You're right, partner. And I think uh, Shoutout Su uh, was like a computer just registering every uh, movement. Uh, every combination by Junior Rock and it's that right opportunity for that left counter uh, coupled like, with, with like what, yeah mm -hmm. like what you said uh, Miss Rika that the third round switch uh, for Sue was, was quite obvious uh, he, he he was much aggressive from start of round number three until the fifth round he was so aggressive and he did score that a great great uh, left uh, left counter uh, that Tan Raka. Certainly, and there you yeah, have it. Uh, that the left, the left hook. Yeah. He was just trying to soften up Raka with the, those hooks, and the, the moment Raka counters, he was ready with that left uh, counter. Let's see what will happen to round number six of this fight between uh, Junior Raka of Papua New Guinea against Xiao Tao Su of China. Huge knockdown from round number five was earned by Su against Junior Raka. We'll see as we approach probably the that, end of the bout. <laughs> probably that uh, knockdown could be the decider of, of, of this uh, bout. Certainly Ra Raka needs to needs this round he needs round number six to to he, to get close to the win i think he must probably dominate this round for sure and the shout out who just keeps getting stronger as the rounds progress yes very good observation he just become a different some sort of a, of a monster definitely that's the word he just transforms into a monster. But Junior Raka will not be phased. He is still fighting. He's still still certainly in this this bout. And and I think Raka has has, has also gained some res respect from 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 uh, Su because he's not backing out. He's trying to exactly. slug it out toe to toe to toe mm -hmm. with Sue. Because you sometimes right, mm -hmm. because sometimes mentally, as an opposite opposition, what more will I give uh, for this boxer to, to, to make him quit? Exactly. The frustration if he lets it set in, uh certainly um, will ruin his yes, plan. Yes. But, but right now he stays composed. Not rushing a things. A minute left uh, on this round. Here you have it. Raka still unleashing those combinations. Counter I'd like to strips. see... Mm -hmm. how, how about this idea, Miss Rika? i like to see one of these two boxers uh, probably fight a Filipino. Uh, in the near future. Wow, you have someone in mind, uh, partner? Uh, Who can they face? Uh, <laughs> Who can they face uh, here in the Philippines? 
we have a lot of good super featherweight uh, um, fighter here in the Philippines. But um, I just gonna cross the bridge when we get there. <laughs> exactly. And right now, the end of the bout that was that was a huge fight between a Junior Rama and Shazu the Soup. Here we go. We ex uh, we witnessed a knockdown on the fifth round, but of course, the the fight lasted for a full six rounds. Who will receive? It? The big W tonight. And of course, you're again watching us here at the Grand Votra Elordi TV brings you this fight card WBO Global Prelude brought to you by Cocky Buffalo Promotions and VSP Promotions. Our announcer will make this fight official, the announcement official. Will it be the Chinese boxer or will it be the warrior from Papua New Guinea? for the decision, partner. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, we now go to the scorecards, and here are the score totals. Our first judge at ringside scored about 60-53, and our second and the third judge at ringside sees it the same, 59-54, declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision from China, Xu Xia. Xu Tao Su uh, winning uh, this bout uh, by a unanimous decision. The two judges given it 59-54, and uh, the other judge has given a 60-53 in favor of uh, Xiao Tao Su partner. Um, Xiao Tao Su now I improved his record to 12-3 uh, with six knockdown, and uh, and I, I think Junior Rata absorbed it. Another loss is now uh, two wins and two losses. 